Hi guys, in this video we're going to be looking at identifying functional groups, a map of the aliphatic functional group reactions, then a map of the aromatic functional group reactions, before finally looking at using both of these maps for synthesis routes and summarising. So to be able to think about how to make a molecule, which we call synthesis, you need to know what functional groups it contains. And organic molecules often contain more than one functional group. We need to be able to identify a range of these. We'll start by thinking about carboxylic acids. So on these molecules above, we can see an example of a carboxylic acid here, where we've got a carbon double bonded to an oxygen and an OH group. You need to know some of the reactions for carboxylic acids, which are covered in other videos. And the first of these is that metals will form a salt with an acid and also hydrogen gas. Bases will form a salt and water. Carbonates will form a salt, water and carbon dioxide. And alcohols can be combined with the carboxylic acids to form esters. So next we'll look at these esters, and to identify these groups in the molecule above, the sort of thing you're looking for is a carbon with an oxygen linking it to another carbon, and then the double bond to an oxygen as well. So this is the ester linkage. The main reactions you need to know for esters are how to break them down. We can break them down with acid hydrolysis, and this forms an acid and an alcohol, but if we use alkaline hydrolysis, we won't get an acid because of the alkaline conditions, we'll get a carboxylate iron and still an alcohol. Next, we'll look at alkene, or carbon to carbon double bonds within the molecule. So above we can see these here, as the double bond link between the two carbons. And now if we look at what reactions they undergo, they'll react with bromine water to decolorize it because the bromine gets added in to the carbon to carbon double bond. A similar thing will happen with hydrogen halides, but we'll only add one of the molecules of the halide in and the other will be hydrogen and this will form haloalkane. And they'll react with themselves in polymerization reactions to form addition polymers. Next we can look at alcohols, which we've already talked about as combining them with carboxylic acids. But you're looking for the OH group here in the molecule, so it's a carbon attached to an OH, forms an alcohol, and remember that we can get primary alcohols, where the OH group is on the end of the molecule and the carbon it's attached to is also attached to hydrogens. If we oxidise these, we're going to form aldehydes. If we have a secondary alcohol and we oxidise this, then we're going to form a ketone. And we can't oxidise tertiary alcohols easily because these have the OH group attached to a carbon, which then is only attached to R groups. So there's three of them. Hey guys, to continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise, exam board specific, a-level chemistry videos, just click the snap revised smiley face here. Join me today and together let's make A-level chemistry a walk in the park.